Hello, everybody. Uh, this is another video related to code data. And the purpose of this video is to show you how we update records that are already stored in the database. Okay, and basically wrap up this application. There is one part that uh, I'll probably do another video on, which is how to find records in the database, search for records in the database. Now, if we look at what we've done before, this is the application that we have. Uh, we have basically it lists all these records from the database and when you click on the plus sign it takes you to another view controller this is the view controller the first view controller we had and you type in information and then click on save all right what we want to be able to do is that when you click on this for example it'll take you to the same view controller which is this but it will allow you to update the view controller will be intelligent enough to know that you whether you want to do an update or do you want to do uh, if you want to do an update or you just simply want to do uh, add record to the database all right so let's take a look at what we have in the main storyboard so if you open the main storyboard again this is a continuation to the previous project so you, you have to be familiar with what we've done before in the storyboard, I've added, we deleted, but remember we had a text field here that says image name. I've deleted that and I just put a UI view. And this UI view is, I created an outlet to this UI image, okay? And it's called image.store in the view controller, okay? Everything else stays the same. That's the only thing that I've done. I deleted the text field and then replaced it with an image. All right, I'll show you why we do that. Okay, so what do we need to do to be able to update the, the, the records? If we go back to the view controller class, in the view controller class, we had a method called save data. In the save data, all I do is that I, every time I click on the button, you create, you get the description of the store, we create an object, uh, a managed object, we change the attribute, and then we saved it, all right? What I wanna be able to do is that I want to be able to use the same method to update the data or create a new data. So the, what, I'm go what we need to do, and if you open the view controller again, what we need to do, we need to create an attribute called store. This attribute is optional variable that means it can be nil or it can be actually it can actually have value all right we will be setting this attribute from the table view controller so when i click on a, a cell it will take me to here all right this is one all right in the view did load what i'm going to do we need to check if i have a value in the store if the attribute is been set by the store by the view controller the table view controller that means i actually set this value if i have a set if i set this value what do i do i give the values i this is optional variable remember so i assign it to a temporary object if it is not nil this means if it is not nil i will assign the text field the text, text the name from the object that is being sent to me. All right, so that's good. All right, now let's take a look at the save data. In the save data, I want to be able to do what? I want to be able to check if the object that I, that, because uh, I don't want, I only want to create the object when I'm in the add mode. I don't want to add the object if, uh, if it's being add, passed to me. I just want to simply save the context. So what do you need to do? You just say here, if store does not, if it's equal to nil, that means it hasn't been passed to me. It's equal to nothing, basically. And then what do I do? I will say, I will create the, I will get the description, create the object, which is the one that I've defined above here. So it will be the global variable, but it is an optional variable. Now, all of these need to be, because it's optional variable, I need to put the question mark, okay, here. Okay, same thing here. 
Okay, so that's what we've done. Uh, how did we modify the the uh, this, the same view controller to be able to do to either edit, display the information, or if it's a new mode, then what do I do? I just simply uh, check if the store is nil. I create the object, set the attributes, and then update the data. If it is not nil, I'll continue with what I have from before, which is this. Any changes to it will come from this text field, assign, assign them to the store, and then do the same thing we've done before, which is what? Save the context, all right? So very similar to what we've done before, the only change we've done here is that we check the attribute that is being sent to us. If it's nil, I create the object. If it's not nil, it will use the one that is being sent to me, which is here, and will, uh, the information of the, on the screen will be updated based on what is being sent to me. All right, so this is one part. In the view, this is in the detail view, in the view controller. Now, if you go to the table view controller, we need to do a few things. Remember, in the navigation mark, you have prepare for segue already. In the prepare for segue, what you do, we need to check uh, which segue I'm firing. So, if it is the edit segue, I do what I get an instant of the view controller where I'm going. We've done this before. And then get the selected row. Then we need to do a little bit extra here. But let me go back to the storyboard and then create the segue, which is what edit store. So I'm going to say command copy. We go to the storyboard. And then here, what we do is that this is the table. So when I click on this, OK, what do I want to do? I want to go to this, uh, to this view controller, and I'm going to do push. OK, in the property, I want to give it the same identifier. This, so this will give me the push. I'm going to give it the same identifier that I've done before. All right? OK, so that's all we need to do. This one has a different identifier. It has add store. It doesn't matter, because we're only, we are only concerned with this one here. Okay, so back to the table view controller. And in the table view controller, here is where I check if, again, this is, was not there. I had to type this, so you'll have to type this too. Uh, we, we've done this before in the table view, if you remember. Uh, so what we have is that we check if this is the right segue, get the view controller I'm going to, get the index pass that I've selected, and then get the row based on the index path. Now I need to get what? I need to assign the property in the destination view controller, which is v.store, equal to what? Equal to the store that I have selected. And the way to get it is that we use stores.row, and then I have to unwrap the value here. All right, so what, what this does, it will get the value from the array, assign it to the property in the destination view controller. Now, when I get to the destination view controller, which is this, I check the first thing I do when I do view did load, is it, does it have a value or not? If it has a value, I get the value and place it in the, update this, uh, the text fields and the, and the image on the screen. All right? And when I click on the save, the same thing that happens before. If I have a value, if I don't have a value, I create it. If I don't have an, in, uh, an object already, I create it. Otherwise, I use the same object, set the attributes properly, and save the data. All right, let's track it out and see what happens. All right, so if I click on this, it should take me to this one, but what's going on here? No records, right? Why no records? Let's check what's happening, all right? Uh, two things might happen. First is that in the prepare segue, let's check in the prepare segue, it, we've done correctly. All right, vstore stores. So we should have gotten it from here. 
unless it's not going to here, edit segue, edit store. Let's try it and see what happens. Now, if you go back here, and then we click on here, I got to here. See, it's so I did not set the, seg the edit segue properly. All right, the segue name. So I'm gonna do command copy here, go back to the storyboard, and go but see this is it it's empty i didn't set it up properly so i'm gonna do, do that so now it should be fine now if i click on okay run if i do this it got me the code the debug point so i just want to make sure that it's working so i don't need the debug point anymore and then continue okay so i got the data all right you got the idea so let's take this one here, ABC1, great store, and I'm gonna say, instead of this, I'm gonna make it ABC actually one, to see if it actually takes update. And then I click on save, it's record, record save, go back, ABC1. You see that? Because I'm already updating the image in that here, you'll see in the other one here, in the uh, table view controller, Sorry, in the V controller because it didn't have an image before, but because of this line, it actually got the image from the file, from the project, put it in the database along with the other data. All right, so this is how you do the update. To test it, to make sure it works for add, you click on this, you can add anything else. We already probably have HHH, so we make it BBV, whatever. I'm not gonna fill the rest, okay? And then you click on save. Now it should be okay, you click back, then it is saved. It should have a record at the end, VVV. All right, so that is it, how we update records in the database. Now, why, if I go back to the view controller, why I didn't have to create the object again here? Why did I, I didn't have to create the managed object again? Because the store, Remember when I got the store, where did I get the stores from? The store, I got it from the database already here, and they are managed object already. So when I got here, first thing we did, remember, we looked at the data. This is already a managed object, so I don't need to create a managed object already. And the managed object context will take care of the statuses of all these objects in memory. All right, so when you do save, it will push these changes to the database. All right. One more thing I wanna do, and we'll stop here. Uh, there's two things. When you click on save, for example, you wanna hide the keyboard. Uh, here, in the view controller, right now the view controller, you have to click on somewhere to, to hide the keyboard. But you can say here, everything is okay. We have a method already that does that, so you just say hide keyboard, and then you send it any object, and it would work. You say uh, this, or self, this from Java, self, hide keyboard, and then you can just say send self to it, it would work, okay? That way, when you click on save, it'll hide the keyboard. All right, so if you click on this, you change this to add another number to it, 444, click on save, it hide the keyboard, and then it's saved, okay? All right, that is it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how we do the uh, search, uh, the database. I'll see you in the next video.